YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? This is your guy Professor Smilgood, and we back, baby. All right, you guys, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. Thank you guys for the love, the hate, the shares, likes, all of that good stuff, man. Thank you. Thank you guys for that. All right, so with that being said, man, what we're going to be talking about today, I'm going to talk about two, the origins of two Pacific fragrances, Black Woman and Michelle Obama. First and foremost, what I want to do is um, don't, take what I'm saying for don't take what I'm saying as face value until you actually listen to the whole entire video I'll say that again do not take what I'm saying for face value until you listen to the whole entire video listen to the details first before you actually go and you tell people about this video that I made all right so all right so that's with that being said okay now let's start with uh, Michelle Obama no, let's start with black woman. Black woman was actually... Now, you would think that black woman is actually made by a black man or a black woman because of the name black woman. Right? Uh, but no, that's not true. And I'm not saying that's, there's something wrong with that. No, there's nothing wrong with it. It smells great and it's a great fragrance. Uh, but actually, black woman is actually made by a Bengali brother from New York. It's made by a Bengali brother from New York. Okay? He's the one that actually came up with that scent that we know as black woman. Um, I had a conversation with a brother yesterday. He was giving me some inside information on this. Um, I was having a conversation with a brother uh, from New York that was giving me some inside information on this. All right, so um, that specific scent, um, I asked him, uh, when did that scent come out? He said it came out in the 19, I think it's the 1999, early 2000s. It came out around that time. So, if it came out 2000, let's just say 2000. It came out in the year 2000, right? It's 2019 now. That means it's been out for 19 years now. Or if it's 1999, it's been out for 20 years now. Now, so that fragrance, Black Woman has actually put some work in. That fragrance has most definitely put some work in, right? That fragrance has been around for 20 years. But not only has it been around, but it's been selling really good for 20 years. All right, so that fragrance was created by a black, I mean, by a Bengali brother. All right, he was the one that actually made that scent that, as we know, called Black Woman. Now, you probably say, okay, well, how, what, what, what will make him come up with a scent called Black Woman and smell as great as it does? Because it smells like a black, a real black woman would smell. That's the interesting part. Interesting part about Black Woman. It smells like the name. It smells like something a real black woman would wear. A mature, classy black woman would she would wear. Okay? Obviously, he's from New York. So, uh, New York has a deep, rich, uh, black culture. Right? That's where hip-hop was started from. Hip-hop was actually started in New York. Right? And it hit the essence of hip-hop was based upon knowledge. The, matter of fact, the fifth element, if I'm, if I'm correct, the fifth element of hip-hop was actually what? Knowledge, right? So, and it's just a message to all of those guys. They want to spit and they want to talk, you know, they want to rap and things like that. But the fifth element, they always leave that out, which is hip uh, which is knowledge. Okay, so, and that's the reason why if you, if you listen to... I'm, I'm, I'm actually going somewhere with this, by the way. If you listen to the previous artists before, if you listen to the previous art, I mean the artists of the past, KRS One, Tribe Called Quest, right? All, all of those guys back then, Q-Tip, all of those guys, right? And when you listen to them, it was actually knowledge in their lyrics, right? That came from the culture of New York, right? And the culture of New York, they was very, very black conscious, right? They was very black conscious. New York has always been black conscious, always, right? So, that's what the terms where they say, you know, yeah, so I was building with my mans, you know, when building, they talking about chopping up knowledge, right? That's what terms like that came from. It came from New York, all right? So, with that being said, the Bengali brother obviously saw that it was a deep presence of black culture and black people loved each other in New York. So, obviously, you know, you, you want to try to uh, capitalize off of that. And so he made a scent called Black Woman. And now, and no disrespect to the brother. I love the brother. But if he had made a scent called Bengali Woman, it would not sell as much. But he made a scent called Black Woman because he's in uh, um, a city, a state that is full of black people that love black culture. Right? 
black woman. So, and uh, when he came out with this scene, it actually became a hit. And all over the U.S., man, this is a, this is one of the top five requested oils, men, women, and unisex fragrances, right? Black woman. Egyptian musk, right? Egyptian musk is number one. Most requested. All right? Then after that, you got um, Amber White. And then you got Black Woman. Yes, Black Woman is number three. Black Woman is number three. African Musk used to be up there. African Musk don't get it. Don't re, it, it, it don't get requested as much. But Black Woman get requested all the time. Amber White get requested all the time. Egyptian Musk get requested all the time. I'm talking about from the moment that it came out until now, it is still being requested. It's still being requested. You follow me? So, Amber, uh, uh, black woman is right underneath Amber White. They just show you the status of black woman. It's a, it's a great fragrance, man. It's a really great fragrance. All right? It smells amazing. All right, so that's number three. Number four is Michelle Obama. And I'm getting to that. Michelle Obama is, <laughs> since Michelle Obama came out, since Barack Obama came in office, I'm 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 gonna let you guys wait for. It. I'm I'm gonna go into details about it. But it's from that from that day until now, people always ask about. They always ask about Michelle Obama. Ever since uh, Michelle Obama came out until now, people still ask about it. Still ask about it. So that's number four. Number I think number five is Izzy man. Izzy Miyake. I think number five is Izzy. Is he either Izzy Miyake? Um, yeah, I think it's Izzy. I think number number five has to be Izzy Miyake. You know, I'm, but I mean, that's just not for sure. It, it, it may be Izumiyaki. It may be Frankincense or Myrrh. Frankincense or Myrrh don't get... It still get requested, though. It still get requested. But it doesn't get requested as much as a black woman, though. All right, so... Number five, let me, let me marinate on it for a little bit. Okay, so anyway, let's get back to it. So, yeah, you know, also, that's the same thing. So, he said, okay, well, let me capitalize off, you know, the fact that black people love each other. Let me make a scent that actually caters to them. And I, I don't see nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with that, you know. You know, so Black Woman became a hit. All right. So same thing with back in the day. If you watch the movies like um, House Party, right? House Party and all them other movies. That, if, if, matter of fact, if you watch the movies back in the day in the nineties, you can see that there's uh, they will allow Black consciousness in the movie. Why would they do that? They did that because it was a market for it, right? That was entertainment. That's what the people was into. They was into pro-black and black culture and loving black culture, right? They was into that. So as a result, white people, they wasn't, no disrespect to white people, but they wasn't really concerned about it. They just saw it was a market for it to make money. And so as a result for it, guess what happened? They made, you know, they allowed that to be in the movies because that's what people wanted to see. Now, translation, the same thing with black woman. It was a market for it. Black people loved each other. Let's make a scent called Black Woman. And it makes sense. If you really think about it, it makes sense. Reason why it came out in the early 2000s, right? Or 1999, 2000, because it was still black consciousness, right? It still is now, but back then it was it was a little bit more uh, genuine. It was much more genuine. All right, so um, that's how Black Woman came about. Bungali Brother, he made it. And I actually got to connect to it, all right? The original, because there's a lot of people they try to actually duplicate it and make their own version of it. And they tried, and a lot of them they didn't even, didn't even come close. I got the original connect to the original black woman. All right, so no, it's not wholesale. Don't ask me if it's wholesale. No, it's not wholesale. I'm only going to sell it retail. All right, you can use it for your personal use. All right, but to buy it to make money from, nah, no, absolutely not. All right, so with that being said, now let's get to Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama was actually made by a brother that I know personally who goes by the name of Riyadh. Riyadh. Yemeni brother named Riyadh. Right here from the D. Right here from the Motor City. Right here from Detroit. Right here. Alright? So brother Riyadh, I, I know him personally, you know what I'm saying, because he knows a brother that I, I'm also very close to, right? Which is the top uh, wholesaler in Michigan. I think top wholesaler, oil wholesaler in Michigan. So, me and Riyadh, I was having a conversation with Riyadh one day, and he was telling me, 
He said, you know, I don't disagree. He said, I don't criticize the brothers that sell oils and stuff, walking around selling oils. Because at that time, I was walking around selling oils. He said, I don't criticize brothers for doing that. He said, but this is the thing that I criticize. He was giving me game before Center Aroma Academy came out, before I, even, I, before I actually started making these videos. So he said, I don't criticize the brothers. He said, but one thing I do criticize is when you've been selling oils for the last past six, seven, five, six, seven, eight years, and you're still in the same spot that you were when you uh, first started. You're not trying to grow. You've been selling the corner, selling oils on the corner, standing on the corner, selling oils for the last past six, seven, eight years. That's it. You haven't grown. Your inventory hasn't grown. He said that I has a I have a problem with, and I can I can agree with that. I can agree with that. You know what I mean? So that's one of the things he told. But now here's the kicker. He told me right after that. He said, "Listen, I was I thought it was black woman, but I, I'm mistaken about that. It was actually Michelle Obama." He said, "I was the one that actually made." The Michelle Obama scent, meaning the, the the Michelle Obama scent that everybody was used to, that everybody was used to, before Michelle Obama actually designed her own scent. I'll say that again. The Michelle Obama oil that everybody was used to, before, before Michelle Obama actually made her own scent, because Michelle, because this happened, Mariad, he he made this scent, and I got some inside information on it yesterday. Talk to a brother, you know, that he's very dear to. And he gave me some inside information, you know, as a trust. So, um, only be, I mean, obviously because, you know, he know what I do and he respect what I do. You know, I'm not, I'm not in the average guy. I'm quite sure in the average guy, he wouldn't give him the information, but he know what I do. And, you know, I'm very loyal and the videos I make, you know, I love this oil game. So I appreciate that brother for giving me the information. But anyhow, let's continue. So the brother, he told me. And he said, um, cause Riyadh never told, he told me that he made black woman before black woman. I mean, he made, uh, uh, uh Michelle Obama before Michelle Obama made her sin out herself. But he never told me when, 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 when it came out or how it is to be made. All right. And I didn't ask that. Got the inside information yesterday that brother Riyadh from right here from Detroit, he made this scent. As soon as Barack Obama came in office. When Barack Obama came in office, Michelle Obama didn't make the scent yet, right? So, because, you know, he's in office, he's okay, well, you know, I think it would be a good idea for me to make a scent. Call Michelle Obama, you know, first black president, you know, make the scent. You know, to uh, pretty much uh, out of respect for his wife. And, and, and not only that, but a lot of black people are happy the fact that he became president. So, when he made the scent, it became a hit in Detroit. It became a hit. It became a hit so much that when I was selling oils, I had to get it because people kept asking about it. Still like this, still to this day. So, that's what happened. So, um, just found out yesterday. And so, now you probably say, okay, well, what's the difference between that one and the one that Michelle Obama, Michelle Obama designed herself? Well, the, the scent that Michelle Obama designed is not, that's hers. But that's not the one the Michelle Obama that everybody is used to, it was actually the scent that they're used to with the name of Michelle Obama is actually made by brother Riyadh from Detroit. And people will actually wear it and they would go out of state. And I would hear stories about this. Go out of state. People will always ask him, what do you got on Michelle Obama? And so that explains the reason why so many companies, they discontinue Michelle Obama because people was actually requesting the scent, that, the scent of Riyadh. The scent of Riyadh. For Michelle Obama, not hers. See, a lot of the perfumers, they the, uh, the oil guys, they copied the scent of Michelle Obama. And so they would sell it to the same people that were used to the one that they bought from Idiot. And they say, no, that's not it. They say, yeah, it is. It, you know, have you smelled the perfume? You know what I'm saying? So that's the one they used. They used to the one that Brother Idiot, he made. So that's, that's the history on it, man. So... But here, here's the thing. This is going to blow you guys away. I got the original formula to the original black woman from Riyadh. Because a lot of women, I have brought brought to Michelle Obama and they said, no, that's not it. But guess what? It's not going to happen no more because I got the original formula. If you want to give me a call in like a week, I'll have it for you. She got Professor Smilgood. Thank you guys for watching. Brother Riyadh is the one who made the original Michelle Obama. That scent that everybody used to from Michelle Obama. Riyadh from Detroit, he made it before she made her own scent. Professor Smilgood.